welcome to the Clementine Dress Sew Along. This is a free pattern from the Mood Fabrics website. You download it from their blog page. It's got some really gorgeous details cut out on the side. It's off the shoulder as well. It's elasticated all the way around. It's got an amazing size range as well for a free pattern. I was really impressed by that. But it is notorious for having really, really bad instructions. So in today's video, I am going to be trying to make this dress, trying to figure out the instructions so you don't have to, and simplifying them as much as possible. But I'm no professional, so this might be a sewing fail, and I might not be able to get to the bottom of it. But looking at the pattern, I'm hopeful that I can. Ish. <laughs> Fabric-wise, I am using some black Brogion Glaze. I had some in my stash already, which I got years ago from eBay, I think. And then I bought some more from Pound Fabrics as well. It was like £2.50 a metre, it was such a bargain. I'm doing the sensible thing here and not using some of my really nice fabrics. So it's kind of like a wearable toile, this dress, um, just in case this doesn't work. I'm really sorry if I sound a little bit like a frog in this video. I'm just recovering from tonsillitis and I've still got a really bad cold. Um, so I'm not in my best state. Everything will be linked in the description box below so you can shop the fabrics and download the pattern yourself as well. And if you've got any questions, just pop them in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But let's get straight into it and let's start sewing the Glamantine dress. So because I'm doing a tiered skirt, I'm not gonna need all of these bits here. So I'm just gonna print the first line um, and then I will print the rest of the bodice, kind of starting from my size. And also controversial, but I don't like pockets and dresses, so I'm not going to be adding pockets. So please don't be offended if you're a massive pocket fan, but I'm really not. Okay, so I've just been reading through the instructions and they are a little bit crazy. Um, I'm super confused already. I'm hoping they're gonna make more sense when I start sewing. I've also run into a little teeny wee problem. Um, the pattern is requiring quarter inch wide elastic and I've only got half an inch but I'm not buying more elastic I'm going to work with what I've got if I've got to adjust the elastic casings I can do that quite easily um, but it is saying on the pattern actually that they're pressed the casings are pressed to half an inch so this should fit just because it's just under half an inch but we'll see I'll give it a good go but um before I get totally confused and put off of this make, I'm gonna go and get it cut out and ready to go. Okay, so I've measured out my top piece of my skirt, which is 16 inches across, so that's gonna be 32 wide. So that is where I'm starting with for my first tier. Okay, so this is how I work out my tiered skirt. Now, a three tier skirt like this requires a lot of fabric, so just bear that in mind if you were gonna go for something like this. So my first tier is gonna be 60 inches wide. Each tier is gonna be 16 inches long because I'm 45 from my waist to the floor. Um, so I'm allowing for seam allowances and hems and stuff there. Um, but I might have to shorten this top tier if needs be. Um, and then each measurement is 1.5 times the previous measurement. And that gives me my width all the way along. Hopefully that makes sense. I've had to move into the living room to cut this out because it's so big. Look at the size of that top piece. Um, I was also just measuring out my skirt section as well and I think this is going to be a little bit tight. So it's the next day now, um, I did actually manage to get all of my skirt cut out of the fabric that I had. I did have to make the bottom tier slightly shorter which is a bit annoying because I did want a full maxi and this fabric was so cheap I don't really understand why I didn't buy more but there we go, it is what it is. Lesson learnt um, and also it wasn't very wide either so it didn't go very far hence why it was probably so cheap. But um, now I'm moving on to the first step of actually putting this dress together, which is I'm forming the elastic casings by pressing them. So I've got to press this under by half an inch and then three quarters of an inch again um, to the wrong side. So I'm gonna try and find my iron and dig that out and um, yeah, get those done. Right, so my best way to do this is I'll kind of finger press it under and measure. 
and then just using my tape measure go all the way along and press as I go just doing little little bits and then just the same again following along and then pressing We're going to fold it again, and this time we're going at three quarters of an inch. So. Next step, you're sewing the um, bodice and skirt together to the centre front which I assume is this little mark here. It doesn't say, but it looks pretty central. So I'm gonna mark it and then measure it and double check. Okay, so I've just filmed and sewn step two of this pattern per the instructions. And I'm throwing it out there. I think they're wrong. I think that is why this is so complicated because they've said on the pattern to put the bodice and the skirt wrong sides together. Now, when you do this, it just doesn't make sense to me for the elastic casing because you've got so much extra to fold over and also this bit here just becomes really, really fiddly. So we're gonna go rogue and we are going to do them right sides together because I've just had a little practice pinning and it all seems to make a lot more sense. So we're gonna do it that way. Also, we need to go back through and create an elastic casing in the skirt because at no point in the instructions do they say to put an elastic casing in the skirt and obviously you need one in there. So I'm gonna go back and press an elastic casing in the top of the skirt. I'm gonna keep the skirt pieces separate still and um, we're gonna do step two, but instead of wrong sides together, we're going right sides together and see if that works because I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how this is right. I really don't think it is. Seriously, is there anything worse than unpicking seams on black fabric with black threads? This is super annoying. And then add in the broderie on glaze factor as well. Luckily, this broderie on glaze has got lots of holes in, so what's a few more? Okay, unpicking finished and we're off again. So right sides together. This is the sleeve section pinned to the middle. This is where we're gonna stitch along that fold line that we pressed earlier. And also I've pressed here the elastic channel for the skirt as well. So I wanted to quickly show you the other piece as well because it says in the instructions that you must mirror them. So these are right sides together. This is underneath and I've pinned again to the middle. And this will be my back piece. Okay, I've just finished sewing these right sides together um, and I can confirm that it makes so much more sense and this looks so much better so I'm going to carry on sewing and assume that it was just a little bit of a, a fault in the pattern instructions. Show you in a bit more detail what I meant. So this is now our outside so we're going to stitch the casings here but before like all of this was on the outside, which meant that you had to kind of then fold it over again for it to look neat. And it just made this bit here really, really bulky. We also just did an emergency run to Hobbycraft because although I've got that elastic over there, um, I just realized that putting white elastic in a black Brodie on glaze dress is probably not the best idea. So I'm just pinning all of the seams together that I need to put through the overlocker and sew together um, and obviously leaving the sleeves and these little gaps all open ready to top stitch those elastic casings and um, make sure when you're sewing the um, seams together by the way that you open up where you've pressed the elastic casing sorry the lighting is rubbish I'm losing it now but you can see 
that's where we've pressed it so I've got my lines and then once this is stitched that will all fold back over nicely. Very, very excitingly, this is starting to come together. Um, I am about to just top stitch all my elastic casings where we've pressed them under. Um, I'll use a longer stitch length. I always do when I'm top stitching, probably about 3.5. Um, and yeah, stitch as close to the edge as I possibly can. And um, for each elastic channel as well, I'll make sure I'll leave a little gap uh, between 1.5 and 2 inches so I can thread my elastic through quite easily but I'm very excited to get the elastic in this now because I really really want to try it on. This part in the middle where the skirt and bodice are attached together was a little bit more fiddly to do so definitely take your time with that bit. This is how it's looking on the right side. Very happy with that. Look how neat this corner is here. As I was top stitching last night I realised that when I unpicked everything and then put it back together, right sides together. I've actually put the um, cut out on the wrong side of the dress. So normally it sits under where the sleeve is, but I've got it here. But I did have a look on Instagram and I saw a few people had done the same thing. They'd made that mistake and it actually looks fine still and looks really good. And quite frankly, I cannot be unpicking all of this because I'll have to unpick the elastic channels and then unpick where I've stitched these two together. So I'm gonna just roll with it as it is, but um, there was me getting all smug about, um, you know, figuring the instructions out and I've still got it wrong. <laughs> using my trusty safety pin, we just thread through here, the little gaps that we've left, and then just using your hands, just slide your elastic through. Once you've taken your elastic all the way through, you'll have this loose end where we threaded it in originally. Where you've finished and brought it out the other end, make sure you pin that in place um, so when you adjust it and stuff it doesn't pull out and then you have to redo the whole process. So then I will just go around and make all of the gathering from the elastic even. And then we'll try it on and see if we need to make it looser or tighter. Hey, here we are. This is where I'm at. Obviously, got culottes on underneath because I didn't want to flash my pants. But actually, I really like this with the cutout detail here. I thought it was going to look a bit odd, but I think it works either way. Um, and I'm obsessed. I love this. It's so cute. It's such a fun, like, elevated take on a summer dress. Um, it's going to look really nice with the tiered skirt as well. Um, obviously, this is broder on glaze so it's a bit see-through but I've got some black shorts to wear underneath and like a black bandeau top as well that'll work well um, but yeah this is really really sweet comfortable to wear along here as well cute so I need to get some elastic in the sleeve now and then start getting my skirt gathered and attached and then we are on the home stretch once you're happy with how your elastic is sitting just go back to your elastic channels where you inserted your elastic and just back stitch over a few times to secure the elastic in place and then top stitch these gaps back closed as well to neaten it up. I feel like I've been gathering for hours but I'm finally on the last tier and we are nearly, nearly done. It's done! I am so, so happy with this. It's gorgeous. Actually, I really like the cutout detail on this side. It looks super cute, but I am chuffed. I need to sort out the underwear situation because obviously black brody wrong glaze and nude underwear is not the best combination, but I have got some black shorts somewhere and a black bralette to go underneath. But this is so cute. I love the tiered skirt. It's really hard to see on this camera, sorry. And I really love this off-shoulder detail. It's so comfy to wear as well. Like because all of this is elasticated. It's just like the perfect, perfect summer dress. I'm obsessed. It was well worth the effort.